This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. <gasps> it's next door. <laughs> managed to bring the fire under control. It was already too late for the Hawkins. What, they were just in... Charles and Sarah's wedding was painted by Sarah herself. So they were trapped Let's in this see if room. I can find something the cops missed. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's where the kid is. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? What's this? Is Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker. Hmm. They had a fight. Why? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Was the husband the murderer? Did it stop at the time of the fire? The oil lamp would have set everything on fire. I missed something. Aha, what's this? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? How come it didn't burn? Hmm. Looks like there's a lot going on. Did someone escape the fire? <gasps> Dun dun dun. <laughs> Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell. Desperate attempt to flee. Hmm. And the boy. So, detective, what do you make of it? God, you're a creepy fucker, aren't you? Look at you. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? This is arson. Someone arson around. I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. Fuck off. Yeah, no. No. Fuck off. Ah, oh, you. <laughs> I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. It's kind of weird there was only that one room that, like, burnt down, this you know? This door is locked. <laughs> this door is locked. It's a rat.
Right. God, I thought that was someone for a second. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. Hmm. How very interesting. What's this? A crowbar. A crowbar could prove useful. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, a sea shanty. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Yo, can I have this library? Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the... 14th century. Human body. Book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. We're not going to talk about the human skull. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Another crowbar. Bart says meow. Hello, Bart. Hmm. Uh, Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Scylla is also the name of the boat. Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police. God, just imagine how spooky this would be. Office key. Like, you're investigating this creepy ass manor. What will her room reveal about her? Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Padlock is too complicated for me. Damn it. It's no use. The padlock won't give. 
Oui, oui. A barbiturate prescription from a certain Dr. Fuller. That's a massive dose. Was Sarah violent? <sighs> no. If she was, that would explain why she threw the... the lantern at the husband. The boy's room. Boy. <laughs> A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Probably his abusive dad, by the looks of things. Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Oh, okay. That's probably whatever it is. Oh, that's creepy. Sleeping pill. Strong for an eleven year old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Looks like dead space. Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. <laughs> Something terrified him enough to not want to sleep, or not be able to sleep. Oh, is this Garfield? Oh, okay. There's a satanic circle in here. Well, not even satanic, a uh, cultist circle. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Well, yeah, Lupus, this is probably a cult room. Don't you have a cult room? Of course I do. That's how I recognized it. I have a lot more hooks in mine. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Ah, uh, probably summoning something, I reckon, Pierce. Bradley? Is that you? Is anyone there? Is that me? Oh, fuck. You stop. Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far.
I'll cover you. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go? The fuck? Secret bookshelf. It looks like an old seaway map. Do you really think that your fugitive came in here? I don't see any way out. Okay, so that's where it is. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. The Scylla. This panel is movable. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. With this, I should be able to force the gears. Oh, please don't break it again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we're good. Knew it. Secret book. Aha! It was the tracks. Done, As if the bookcase has been moved Shut several up. times. Have you seen the old maritime maps on Charles Hawkins' desk? Strange. No ship has left Darkwater shore for years. 